The county council has approved a budget of just over $5 billion, a slight increase from last year's budget as the county continues to recover from the recession. Susan Kennedy has the story. Susan? That's right, the vote was eight to one on this budget, which council members say holds the line on their top priorities, including property tax, public safety, and schools. The vote comes after weeks of work sessions and deliberations. It maintains property tax revenue at the charter limit. Mr. Rice? Yes. And protects Rice, core yes. county services and safety net programs. We've passed a restrained and responsible budget. There were uh, many needs in the community that we heard about and we were able to address quite a few of them. They have all done a tremendous job. I think uh, we're providing our constituents with the government that works. That's what they expect and that's what they pay for. Council Vice President Nancy Florine cast the vote against the budget. I'm sorry, um, I can't support that and I'm not going to support the budget. The council voted to support the 2010 energy tax as recommended by County Executive Ike Leggett. Councilmember Florine says she believes the council should have taken steps to reduce this tax in order to enhance our region's economic development. Uh, so we are increasing spending over last year's budget for, by $90 million and we are not finding any relief for the taxpayer as part of that. I'm sorry, um, I can't support that. The council approved a total of $2.3 billion for Montgomery County Public Schools. And in keeping with its commitment, the council went above the executive's recommended funding for Montgomery College. Education, whether it's pre-K, K through 12, uh, and then post-secondary education are all important. But when we look at what makes the quickest turnaround, we see that in our community colleges, which is why we decided to double down and invest. Good news for libraries in this budget. The agency will see a 5% increase in funds for fiscal year 2016. The funds will cover full funding for the new Silver Spring Library opening in June and money to increase hours at 11 libraries. And the council added money to the budget that will establish a campaign finance fund for the 2018 election cycle. We were hoping for $2 million. It's a budget process. Not to say that a million dollars is a, is a small number, it's a large number. And so that we can begin the process of uh, doing this important work. This year, the council approved $2.24 million in grants to the nonprofit community. We're fully funding the services that the people require to maintain our high quality of life and keep Montgomery County the desirable place to live that it is. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.